Here's something you won't see every day. This is a, a marvelous silver medal from the Netherlands, uncirculated. It has this amazing luster, this beautiful sort of matte silver luster. It was issued in 1955, so considering it's, it's antique, it's in remarkably fine condition. And um, yeah, it's, it's a Dutch silver award issued by the Netherlands Society of Trade and Industry. It's about 60.45 millimeters in diameter, and it's almost three ounces, about 2.585 ounces, 73.3 grams. So, um, you know, it's a large silver metal, beautiful artwork, beautiful condition, amazing symbols. This is uh, the caduceus. It's an ancient occult symbol, occult meaning hidden. It has hidden meaning and history to it. Um, you know, the two intertwined snakes set upon a rod was the ancient symbol for Hermes, the Greek god of merchants and, and, um, and wisdom. Today, it's a common symbol in medical and allied professions, but again, it has... Uh, significance going way back. Um, it goes way back. Originally, the magic wand of Hermes and Mercury and the messenger of the gods. So there's a story, it goes like, uh, Hermes came upon two snakes that were locked in combat with one another and separating them with his staff, he brought peace between them as the two snakes intertwine themselves in balance and symmetry surrounding the staff, they finally merged seeing eye to eye in an eternal sign of peace. So you can actually take away the word snake and put a nation, two nations who are quarreling and a superior empire came by and sort of took over and started working and trading and creating peace and basically the power of, of empire. You know. Over time, the Caduceus was brought into esoteric Gnostic tradition as a symbol of power, the ability to rise above conditions of duality, to balance positive and negative, and using power of both light and darkness as a tool. In India, it was associated with Kundalini or serpent power. You know, it was later that it became identified with medicine the Caduceus has a special place in the rich iconography of speculative Freemasonry, where it represents the harmony and balance of opposing forces both within and around us. Yep. I'll kind of zoom in here. Amazing detail. It's a very high relief. In a great condition. I'm assuming those are like provinces of the Netherlands. The reverse is just kind of a minimalist feel. Look at the, the relief on that. Boom. <laughs> minimalist piece there, who it was uh, issued to and for what. But I love those like art deco embellishments there. Very subtle and up here. So Caduceus Cad is uh, Latin for fall or, or dead, like cadaver. And Zeus from Zeus means God, which was represented by the planet Jupiter. So Caduceus is the fall of Zeus, referring to those who became gods on earth. The ability to restore death to life. So the nation's... Mercury would represent various nations who had the power, like gods, to, to accomplish great things. This should not be mistaken for the Asclepius, which is one stake on a rod. And I'll talk about that maybe in my next video.